In this video, we'll be talking about factorial notation. Oftentimes in probability and statistics, we encounter the notation like 5 factorial. This is red, 5 factorial. And it means Five times four times three times two times one. When you're doing factorial, one is always the last factor. So five factorial is equal to 20 times six or 120. If we saw 12 factorial, that would mean 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that is 479,000,000. Now, luckily, we have a factorial button on most calculators. On this calculator, we can see that we have a probability button. So if we wanted to first do our 5 factorial, we would enter 5 and then hit our probability button. And our factorial is the third option. So 5 factorial then is 120. When we were doing 12 factorial, 12, hit the probability button, and factorial, we get 479,001,600. On this calculator, again, 5, and we want math button. And we want to come over to the probability option. And we can see, whoops, too far. Uh, option 4 is our factorial. So 120, and then when we did 12 and hit math, and then our probability option, and then factorial. Right. Since the factorial product can quickly become very big, it sometimes is necessary to simplify a factorial expression before evaluating. So let's evaluate. 9 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 5 factorial. Now this is all multiplication. Um, and let's do this without a calculator. So to simplify this, I would write my 9 factorial until I reach the biggest of these two. So I would write 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 and then instead of going all the way down, I'm just going to write the rest of those factors as 5 factorial. And then in the bottom, I'm going to expand my 3 factorial. So 3 times 2 times 1. 
and then my 5 factorial I'm going to leave alone because now I have a factor of 5 factorial in the numerator and a factor of 5 factorial in the denominator and those would cancel out. They'll actually equal 1 when I divide them and so they cancel. And then I can also take uh, this 3 times 2 and cancel it with the 6. So my uh, actual problem simplifies to 9 times 8 times 7, which is 504. Now if we were doing this with a calculator, We can enter our 9 factorial and then divide it by, but we have a product in the denominator, so we'll need to open parentheses and enclose that product in parentheses. So 3 factorial. times 5 factorial. And we get 504. We can also take 9 factorial divided by 3 factorial divided by 5 factorial. And we get the same thing. Let's try another simplifying problem. Evaluate 14 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 11 factorial. Let's do that by simplifying first. Right, so again, I'm going to write my 14 factorial expanded until I hit the 11. So 14 times 13 times 12 times 11, and then instead of continuing, I'm just going to write that as 11 factorial. And then in the bottom, I have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 11 factorial. 11 factorial divided by 11 factorial is 1, so those cancel. I can also simplify 6 times 2 is 12. So I have 14 times 13 divided by 5 times 4 times 3. And this answer is 91 over 30. All right, and then let's try one more example. Evaluate 11 times 10 times 9 times 8. Now, notice that the 7 factorial is not showing. So this expression can be written 
as 11 factorial divided by 7 factorial because we have 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial. The 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial is 1. So we can calculate this on our calculator. 11 factorial divided by 7 factorial gives us 7,920.